Hey guys, Kingpin here. Welcome to episode 3 of Tailcraft. I hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far. I know I've liked making them a whole lot. Today we have two goals. One, we're going to steal some dark oak wood from the pillagers. Off camera I detailed up our town hall a little bit. I added some gradient here and there, just some smooth stone, nothing crazy. Just added some trims and some little flower boxes around the side of the house and made it generally look nicer from the outside. But I don't have an accent block. And what an accent block is, is do you see that block of dirt right there with the flower on top of it? I don't want to use spruce to have that held there, because we use spruce for the roof. And I don't want to use mangrove, because that would just be overwhelmingly red, and I don't like the look of the oak trapdoors. So we need dark oak. Imagine having the pillagers' own wood built in this house that's meant to resist the pillagers. I think that would be pretty cool. And I also want to make a desk in there where we can record intros and start episodes in the village house. So we're going to have to be stealthy. And after that, we're going to rescue that L.A. All right, guys, we just got into position and now we got to steal this dark oak wood from the pillagers. The problem is, there are a few pillagers right in the way of the dark oak wood. They're guarding it. We've got to get in there and take it. Not only do we really need it for our build to have a status over the pillagers, imagine trimming something with the material of your enemies. I just think that's a really cool idea. But it'd be nice if we could get their numbers down just a little bit. We can probably take out one, maybe two of these guys. We just need to get them away, because I don't think we can take them both at once. We're on hard mode without armor. We're going mining later. But I really want to finish the town hall first, and we need the dark oak wood for the trip. I thought he saw us for a second. It looks like he's leaving. Maybe we can sneak over there. He's definitely still on guard. He has his crossbow on. Go, 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 go! We gotta get out of here. I think we got all of it. Luckily, we weren't followed. But, if we can get some wood, I think we can rescue that LA too. Let's go try. Come on. We'll replace this wood so they don't even know that we got here. Maybe he just escaped on his own somehow. So we just rescued an LA, and the LA's are interesting because they're one of the only mobs in the game that can help you gather resources. So as you see, we gave it a stick right there. We can give it any item in the game. And what they do is, if we mined a tree or something and the leaves fell and the stick scattered around, since it's holding a stick, it'll pick it up and give it back to us. If it was holding an obscure item, like a dark oak plank. Come here, you have to take it with your bare hand. If it was holding that, and for some reason we dropped one, they'll get it back to us. They'll follow you around if you give them any item. It doesn't matter what they have, they'll be loyal to you regardless. They're pretty fast, so you can run around and they'll usually not lose track of you. But watch, it's a stick here from this decaying tree. Watch what he does. Right back to us. Don't worry, LA. This place will be decorated in no time, and I promise. It'll be a really nice office. Geez, I was right. This is a nice office. Off screen, I did some slight mining. I just got enough iron to make a full set of armor. I don't even have iron left over for tools. And I got a decent amount of coal so we can get some smelting done. While I was building this office and studying our LA friend at the same time, I began to notice something very similar to another mob I've encountered in the overworld in the past called the Vex. I recorded my findings in this book in Quill, and I'd like to read to you what I discovered. It's more of a theory as of right now, 
but I think you'll find it interesting. Such a friendly creature is the Illay. But what could the Illagers want with such a peaceful mob? What use could a harmless being be to the scourge of the overworld? They must be up to something, and I fear their intentions. The Illay have helped heroes since legends began to spread across the overworld. Their helpful nature, even aided in the defeat of the Piglins, who were swiftly banished back to the depths of the nether. Illagers are rounding them up yet, for an unknown plan. What are they up to? What do they desire? I have a theory, and it pains me to imagine this could be a reality, but I believe the Illagers have learned to somehow corrupt the noble Allay. Evokers, among the most threatening Illagers, are able to summon a mob called the Vex. The Vex is a mysterious creature, shrouded in mystery. No accounts of any travelers in the overworld have ever sighted a Vex outside the tight guard of an Evoker. The Vex is gray in color, and fly through the air with shocking agility. Their brutal attacks strike fast. When threatened by an adventurer, like you or I, the Evoker will summon three of these beasts. This is where my theory lies. I believe the Evokers have harnessed the power to turn the Allay into the Vex, using their dark magic. The Allay need our help. It is of severe urgency that we liberate the Allay from the grasp of the Illager. Not only will it be a blow to the forces of the Illagers, but the Allay have proven most loyal. We owe it to them to return the favor. If freed, the Allay will not hesitate to aid. Let me know what you guys thought of that. I really enjoy writing like that. I hope you guys enjoyed listening. It's fun to keep track of stuff like that in the Minecraft world. But anyways, today was a shorter episode, but I still hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Kingpin out. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time on episode 4.